if you were smart enough to be successful in completing your entire law school courses and you graduated, then you have all the knowledge you need to successfully pass the bar. And as long as you utilize what time you have, even if it's a little bit, you can still be successful. It may take more than once, but it's definitely um, possible. Hey everybody, welcome back to hanging out with successful bar exam takers. And today we have a story that I know is gonna inspire a lot of people. Uh, Tiffany is with us. Hi Tiffany, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Big, exciting week for you. What, what's your big news? I found out I just recently passed the, the Florida bar exam. That's a big deal. Uh, it, it was not your first time taking the exam, was it? Unfortunately, no. I think you've took the exam a total of what, five times? Yes. This last time was my fifth time. Okay. And you brought your score up by what, six and a half points to get over the passing wow. score? I believe so. How do you feel? Relieved. <laughs> I'm just glad it's finally over. I think our audience would like to hear a little bit about your story and how you came to be in a position to take the bar exam and just a little bit about what happened. And then we'll dig in a little bit to the study itself. I tried to take you right out of law school. And during that time, it was around the COVID time when everything was just starting to shut down. So it was, it kept getting pushed back multiple times and I have really bad test anxiety, so that definitely didn't help anything. So I definitely didn't pass that time. And then I thought I'd jump right back in and take it immediately thereafter. And this was all before having taken any type of study program or bar course or anything like that, because I thought I could just take it just based off the information I had from school. And I realized Juggling a family and work full time, it just, it wasn't working for me. So I took a little bit of time off and tried to jump back in afterwards. And tell me a little bit about your family, because I know that's a, a big part of your life and it certainly made for some challenges, didn't it? Yes, a lot of challenges. So I have a little boy who is nine. And I have a daughter who just turned 14 recently. So they were much younger throughout the entire process. What did they think about mom taking a test, whatever that meant, a big test that, that really was important? I tried to not let it interfere too much with the, my time with them. So I would usually handle everything that I had to during the day with them. And I would leave um, my studying mostly to late nights after I got out of work and on the weekends. So they were very supportive after that. And on the weekends, my husband would take them out to do activities and stuff and try to give me some time to study. And I was able to get a lot of studying in as well on a lot of your videos and stuff as I was driving in and out of work because I usually have anywhere from an hour and a half to two hour drive. So I definitely try to use, utilize my time the best that I could. So just to be clear, two children, family, and you're working, in your study, right? Yes. And how did you do all that? I think a lot of people would say, oh my gosh, that's just too much. And I often felt that same way too, especially every time I get the results back and they weren't what I wanted them to be. And I just kept telling myself that I've got to keep pushing. I always believe in setting that example for my children and that every time I wasn't successful. I just looked at that as a lesson learned and I would reflect on what it was I was missing and then go from there. So it was very challenging for yeah. sure. And one of the things that happened as you started to work is that your scores got better. You got closer, but you came up short for, of what you needed. What made the difference for you this time around? The part that made the difference for me is that Again, I have really bad test anxiety, especially when I'm not sure what it is I'm going to be tested on. And so I looked at what I was doing and I realized I wasn't elaborating enough, especially when it came to the analysis and everything. So I took what I learned with your program and I realized I was too busy trying to rush through the test versus focusing on really putting the analysis together. 
And I think that's the biggest part that changed because every time I'd go in, I would look and I'm like, okay, this is familiar to me. And I would feel comfortable taking the test. But again, because I would rush through it so much, I was missing a lot of information. I think that's a a really good piece of advice for people to slow down, really dig in and and show what they're doing. And certainly it made a difference. How many hours a week would you say you were studying leading up to the July test? I did have the car rides where it was probably about two hours there, two hours back. So that would be four just in one day. And then at night, because I also had volleyball games to take my daughter to, she plays nationally and stuff. So there's always a lot going on. So I would make it a point to at least do a minimum of 25 of those multiple choice questions. Because on the weekend, when I did have a little extra time, I would analyze those problems and take notes and do the mind mapping that you would have to add to the notes that I had based off of the multiple choice. So the 25, the time that it would take me to do the 25 plus the four hours a day was about how much time I spend. So you really took advantage of, of every moment you had. You used that commute pretty effectively, I think, right? Oh, yes, for sure. And you talked about mind mapping. Not everybody knows what that is. It's a system of note-taking built on visual maps of of the subjects. Did mind mapping help you? I found that it did because I'm a big flashcard person where the repetitiveness is what helps me out a lot. And then getting it out there visually through the mind maps. And that did help quite a bit. So I took my note cards that I had, plus the stuff I would take from the multiple choice, And I would put it in the mind maps and it was easy to connect the dots a lot better. It it made my analysis flow a lot easier when I was taking the test. And I think that's really important to be able to figure out your learning style and then identify what it is that, that helps you with that. You were in our basic course. Did you attend any of the group coaching calls? Unfortunately, because of my time constraints, I would listen to a lot of the calls, like the ones that you would record. I would yeah. listen to those during my free time. I, those were the only ones I w- was able to take advantage of, unfortunately. I think it's important to point out that it's possible to pass the four and a bar exam. You pass both sections using the basic course. You didn't have any personal coaching. You didn't attend any of the extra pieces. You just picked up what you could, correct? That is correct. You've got to be very proud of yourself for this accomplishment. You mentioned your children, and they're obviously at an age where they know that mom is doing something important. What was it like when you saw your test results on Monday? I'm not going to lie. I wanted to cry when I saw them because, because all the hard work I've put into, I just, I didn't want another failing result and stuff. And I've given it everything I had, and I was just glad that it finally paid off. And what did your kids say when they found out? Oh, they were excited. My daughter texted me while I was still at work because I found out when I was at work. And she texted me congratulating me because my husband reached out to all of the family and stuff, letting everyone know. So it's got to be a big relief for you to be done. Five exams means two and a half years worth of work, right? Yes. Do you feel like you can (laughs) take a breath now? I do. Yes. A a big one. (laughs) What advice would you give somebody who is watching this video and they failed the exam, whether it's for it or someplace else, multiple times, and they're just frightened? What would you tell them? I would have to tell them the same thing one of my professors once told me. If you were smart enough to be successful in completing your entire law school courses and you graduated, then you have all the knowledge you need to successfully pass the bar. and as long as you utilize what time you have, even if it's a little bit, you can still be successful. It may take more than once, but it's definitely um, possible. Absolutely. And can I just get you to talk a little bit about what your experience was with Celebration Bar Review? So my experience was a great one. I learned about your course through a friend of mine that went to school with me. And when I started going through the program, I loved the videos. I thought they were very informative. And the way you break everything down, it's amazing. 
the videos that I tend to enjoy the most were maybe 15 minutes long. They got straight to the point. They They're were shows. basically yeah. topic. Other not shows. Those videos were great. And I utilized them quite a bit. And there was one specific multiple choice questions that we would test on. And I want to say it was the 1991 version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the one I went through. I, I don't think I was able to get through all of them, but I went through the majority of them preparing myself. And that was the one that I found just was wonderful when it came to helping me out with my studying. Well, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. I think that your story is inspiring to people. A lot of people are going to say, wow, why didn't she just give up, right? Or postpone for a long time, but you didn't. Uh, so what do you say to that? I would say that I was my own motivation. There were things that I wanted to do, things that I wanted to accomplish. And for me personally, I had always wanted to be an attorney since I was a little girl. I know some people decide to make that decision at the last minute, but for me, it was a lot bigger than that. And I knew that I was capable of it. And I like to set personal goals for myself and then be that example for my children. So. If they see me fail and give up, then I can't expect them to do any better. So I knew that it, I had it. I kept getting closer. So it would yeah. come eventually. And it, I'm just glad it finally did. I'm so proud of you. I know your family's proud of you. And you did model for your children a wonderful persistence. And in my experience, Tiffany, the people that are persistent and passing the exam turn out to be pretty good attorneys because they're so dogged and so determined. Are you excited about your legal career coming ahead now? I am. I'm very excited. What plans do you have? As of right now, I'm not sure. I've actually already landed the interview for next week. So good luck to you. I hope that, that it goes well. I, I know you're going to be a good attorney. You're going to be a, a terrific member of the bar. And having your voice in the Florida bar certainly makes a difference. We're proud to have, have been partnered with you. I'm glad that we could help you and achieve this goal. and. I'm excited that you get to tell your story because I know that somewhere out there, there's probably some people going, oh man, maybe I should give up. And they watch this and say, no, man, maybe I should just keep at it. Right. That's correct. That's awesome. Listen, thank you again so much. We appreciate it. We wish you all the best and good luck with all the things you've got going on. Look at all those hours that just suddenly freed up in your schedule, right? I know. It's the reason I sit around thinking about what I'm going to do without that extra time. That's right. Good. I'm sure you'll find a, a good way to put it to, to use and good luck with the, the kids and all of their activities. Again, we appreciate you being with us. And to our audience, I hope that you've been as encouraged and inspired as I am to hear Tiffany's story. It's a terrific one. And uh, we'll see you again on another uh, video soon. We've got more stories to tell. And again, congratulations, Tiffany, and thanks. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.